In today's video, I get half of the Dreamcast games I needed to complete my set, and we get one of the most expensive items ever traded into the store. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Sunday, and so far, at least, at least so far today compared to yesterday, it has been way busier here at the store, which is awesome. Uh, we're doing this sale, you know, we started it on Thursday, tomorrow's the last day for the sale, and I was like, not really happy with how it was going. We just, we've just been kind of slow, unfortunately. And we took in so many trades yesterday that compared to what we sold, we didn't really make that much at all. We probably made enough to pay, you know, Kyle and Ryan, and that's about it. So um, that kind of, you know, kind of sucked. But today has been pretty busy so far. The only trade-ins we've had so far is Cabela's Monster Buck Hunter for the Wii and Sonic Riders for GameCube. So um, today so far is going much, much better. And I'm very, very happy about that. Um, and then also, if you guys missed the end of yesterday's vlog, I did get some of the stuff into the system from our road trip. And I think maybe a couple items from the trade-ins, but so these two stacks here have been put in the system and then like the Game Gear games and a couple of the N64 games and stuff have been done. So if you're interested, that stuff's up and I'm going to be working on more of it today. So my plan is to probably get like all the disc stuff done um, and then just go from there. Later. What up peeps? All right, so got some stuff here. Uh, some of this was like entered in and then some of this was traded in. So first we got Streets of Raid 4, sealed soundtrack. Got a sealed PS3 demo thing. Has Ooh. all these on there. Yeah, pretty cool. Got Rayman 3, PS2. Nice. Got Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. Got SSX 3. Oh, got a DVD. Lilo and Stitch, <laughs> classic. Original Xbox, it Halo is. 2. It is a classic. Yeah. FIFA 16 for Xbox One. FIFA 19 for Xbox One. For Wii U, got Disney Infinity uh, 2.0 and Nintendo Land. <laughs> Who else but Ryan? So we just got something sold to us by one of our regulars. And this is one of the craziest things we've ever had come through the store. Um, I'm not keeping it, by the way. Um, in terms of, of just what it is, it's not like, it's not that crazy, but in terms of how, how expensive it is and how desirable it is, that's where the craziness is. Cause It'll make sense once I show you guys what it is. I'm not trying to spoil it, of course, but, um, you know, just, it, it's a version, it's it's a rare expensive version of something that is not crazy expensive, but is very, very desirable. So in this version of it, it is very, very expensive. And that is a factory sealed copy of Pokemon Pearl for the original DS. And I do have it in a special, you know, an extra baggie here to protect the seal. Um, but it is a legit North American USA factory sealed copy. It's not a Canadian copy. It's not a UAE copy. It's not a Japanese copy. This is, you know, this is the real deal here. And he found this at a garage sale. He said that the he was at a garage sale and the lady had like showed him this and she was like, oh, I was going to post it up on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. And he was like, I'll take it. <laughs> so um, it's in really, really good condition. I'm going to show you guys the flaws. Um, I actually took a couple photos, which I might post up here. But on the back right up here, there's one little like dot. It's like an indent there. You can kind of see it. It's like lighting up right there, right under my nose. Um, so there's that. And then on the front over the Pokemon logo, there's like a little indent. It's not a, it's not like a rip or anything. Let's see if I can catch it. It's kind of hard to show it. It's right underneath the E it's right there. Um, there you go. 
it's a little indent. Um, like I said, it's not a rip or anything. And then lastly, on the spine, right by the P and Pearl, if it'll focus, focus, dang it. I'm trying to click on it to make it focus, but it doesn't want to. I don't know. God, it's, it's difficult. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you guys. Okay, so right underneath the P, you can see right there. It's like a little snag. Um, it's a very small, I'm looking at it myself right now. I don't even know if it's like an actual hole, but it's like a little snag. So there's that. And then other than that, it's really, really nice. So here's the price on it. There are two sold listings on eBay right now that both sold for 1200 for the USA copy. The cheapest one currently posted is 1500 there's a bunch of UAE copies posted where you'll see the little blue logo right down here. That is like the Malaysian, Singapore, Saudi Arabia version. It's still NTSC. You can still play it on your, you know, on whatever region you want, but um, it's not the USA version, which this one is. So just if you're looking at them, you got to make sure that it doesn't have that blue circular logo down here and it has the Wi-Fi logo up here. So if we look at the back, you can see right here, Nintendo of America. Um, it is USA right there. There's the code USA. Um, so this is not a Canadian version. This is the, the actual United States one. And yeah, this is one of the most expensive things we've ever had traded in. Um, it might even be the most expensive. And I know that it's not that crazy, you know, in terms of, and there's like, there's games that are, you know, 10,000 plus, but this is still really, really cool to see. And we are selling it. Like I said, I'm not super, super interested in, in adding like sealed games like this to my collection. And I've told you guys before, I'm planning on going through and selling the ones that I already have, as long as I can replace them with complete copies if I don't already have one. But this game, I've already got a complete copy of. So we're going to be selling it. If for some reason it doesn't sell in store at this price in maybe like a week, then I will most likely post it up on eBay. But I have a feeling it's going to sell pretty quick. So yeah, this is, this is crazy. And I hope you guys have at least enjoyed seeing it. I know that this is not something that most people are going to be interested in purchasing, but hopefully you guys at least appreciate you know, being able to see it in a video and stuff like that, because this kind of stuff just does not come through the store. I know sometimes you guys like to hear about certain sales that we make or, you know, things like that. And I have three orders, well, I have multiple orders here to ship, but I have three orders that I'm going to show you because they are you. cooler items that sold. What's up? Time nice. close? Yep. All right, it's closing time. But real quick, we sold, uh, this is, I can't remember the name of it, Izuna, uh, something like Unemployed Ninja, but that guy sold for 60 bucks. And then we sold a Castlevania Bloodlines for 180. It has the registration card and stuff, but no actual manual. And then lastly, the Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel from yesterday. We got this in just yesterday. This already sold as well. So really awesome stuff. I'm gonna go flip the breaker because we are closed. I got some more stuff into the system um, from the packages and from our trip and everything. So this whole stack here I did today. Ba -ba -ba bam Some of those are trade-ins from earlier. And then this whole stack, all the Switch games, there's some GameCube PS2, and then I think also the stack that's behind these might have been from today, today or yesterday. Oh, I know the stuff up top here, the Bioshock figure, and then this stuff. And then I'll just show you just in case, but this stuff is in the system as well. I think that might have been from last night, though. But 
all that stuff is in. Um, so everything here is, is in the system, but I have not taken photos of any of it yet. That's why it's still back here. But there's so many things that I want to take photos of together. Like there's a couple Wii U games here. There's a couple here. I want to take one photo of them all together. There's a couple in here as well. So I'm waiting till they're all done and like priced. So then I can take the photos and then they go out on the shelves. But I do have some other trade-ins here to show you from today. These are the last ones. Cause as you guys know, we're closed now. We have a couple of instruction manuals here for world driver champion championship and toy story 2 for n64 i'm assuming the cartridges are in here i have not looked at this stuff yet there's a rogue squadron world driver bugs life toy story 2 and another rogue squadron we have castlevania circle of the moon for the game boy advance sonic spinball dr robotnik's mean bean machine and mega turrican that's a nice one <laughs> should have shown that one last extreme g racing GoldenEye 007 for DS, Fable 3, Black Ops 2, Mario Kart Wii, Left 4 Dead, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Mario Galaxy, Gigantic Army for the Switch, Windjammers for the Switch, Sonic Team or Team Sonic Racing, Pokemon Shield, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and Broken City on Blu-ray. So pretty good stuff today i'm pretty happy with the trades and the progress that we've made getting this stuff done i know originally i was saying i wanted to wait until after the sales to to get the stuff in but i mean there's really no point um with it sitting back here people aren't really buying it anyway i did pull out a few games that people had like specifically asked about and sold those but um you know people aren't like pulling these off the shelf and and like getting the sale price with them obviously if they ask for one of the games and we have it i'm going to pull it out and sell it to them but um until we get photos of them for our social media they stay back here anyway so still haven't decided exactly what we're going to do for the online sale but i'm pretty sure that it is going to be probably friday saturday or maybe saturday sunday but i'm leaning more towards friday saturday so we'll see what happens but in terms of like the actual discount on that i'm not sure yet but I'm going to try to make it, you know, just as good as the one in store. Something else really, really cool happened today that I wasn't sure if I wanted to, if I wanted to reveal it just yet, just, just because of what it is. But basically someone local had contacted us and they're like, Hey, um, I'm interested in something you have at the store and I have, I know you're like, you're close to finishing your Dreamcast set. I used to have a full set and I still have most of the games and I'm, I'm willing to trade them. And so I was like, okay, they were interested in our boxed 3DO, which came from my collection. I was getting rid of it. So I just put it in the store and they ended up not getting it because I think it's missing like the paperwork. So it wasn't fully complete. They ended up getting a bunch of other stuff. They got the SpongeBob edition, uh, Game Boy Advance SP. They grabbed a couple switch games, I think, and some original Xbox games and just a bunch of stuff. But they, I sent them the list of the games I needed for the for the Dreamcast, and I think it was around 50. And with what they brought me, I now only need 30 games left. <laughs> so normally, I don't show you guys the stuff that I that I add to the collection throughout you know throughout the days because I like to save it for when I do the pickup videos. Uh, but this one was kind of a special circumstance, and I'm not going to go through them one by one. I just wanted to kind of show you guys. There's nothing like really crazy in here because I already have all the expensive titles, but there's a lot of stuff, and I'm very happy that I was able to get these and add them to the collection because we're so close to finishing the GameCube set. I think now with what I have coming in the mail, I think we're down to like, like nine or 10 games. There's not that many. And now with, with, you know, Dreamcast was going to be what I was going to try to focus on finishing up next. And we only need 30 games left. A lot of them are really cheap. So that's awesome <laughs> and to get this was i think 22 games total there was 23 uh one of them was 18 wheeler american pro trucker but um it it had only the covers of the manual the whole inside of the manual was gone so i was like well and it also had a rental sticker over the disc and i was like well i could try to find a manual 
but then I have to replace the, the game as well, so I might as well just not keep this one. So I put that one in the store's inventory, but these ones are going into the collection, and um, yeah, that is, it's just super awesome to be able to get that many in one shot, and not just be like buying them off of eBay, which, you know, I could complete the GameCube set in 10 minutes if I just went on eBay and bought the 10 games that we need, but it's just not as fun. So, I love getting stuff in person, and 23 or 22 Dreamcast games in one shot is pretty dang cool. So, I think uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Tomorrow, we're going to be, uh, hopefully, starting to work more on the game room. My plan is to, because I'm, I'm going to buy more shelving from Home Depot, go to Kyle's house, we're going to get it all cut, and then I'm probably just going to come to the store and work, but then that evening when we go home, I will start putting up shelving and maybe unpacking some boxes, but... Uh, this Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we don't really film on Wednesday, but you know, Tuesday, that's pretty much what I'm going to be working on. So I'm super, super excited. I hope you guys are as well. I know that a lot of people are looking forward to seeing what the game room looks like. And so am I, because until we start actually putting stuff on the shelves, it's kind of hard to visualize it. And I need to mount the TV. I need to make sure I leave room for a second TV because the plan is to have two TVs in there. Um, at least two. Two flat screens side by side, but then um, possibly another CRT like on the other side of the room. Like I want to have two couches back to back um, eventually, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. What the Smurf?